Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm just down here uh, gaining some knowledge, or lore, as uh, I should say, but uh, <laughs> reading up on the latest um, lore magazine or newspaper that's coming out. Um, but I just wanted to stop up here and show you this real quick before I get on to the main part of what I've done in this uh, video. But uh, this is in the cathedral, so you guys have seen this. This is the, uh, the classroom. Uh, the library, this is up a couple levels, and then this is one of the new areas up here, so it's nothing too much, it's the uh, the banquet hall, this is just where <laughs> you go and eat pretty much, so nothing too special up here, uh, it's just in one of the towers, uh, so we've just got a couple of chairs and uh, tables, some mugs and some plates, or these are just big hamburger patties, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. And they decided to go with these beautiful <laughs> bush decorations. I have no clue how they're getting water or soil or anything up here. But there they are. And we've got some wonderful chain lanterns. I don't use the chains too often. I need to use them more because they are very nice. Um, then I went ahead and prepared this area a little bit. You guys have seen this. The, uh, the old... Uh, uh, penthouse graveyard, but <laughs> this area still needed to get shaped around. So we still got this room to do and uh, then one more room up here. I'm not for sure if we'll do this other part um, or not, but who knows. <laughs> but I guess you could tell that I am very passionate about interiors, which I know most people in Minecraft are not passionate about interiors. They're just like, well, let's just put a nice building up, especially people that do uh, Minecraft cities and YouTubers. A lot of them do not care whatsoever about interiors, but I am the exact opposite of that. I absolutely adore interiors, and it's my favorite thing to work on. So I will use every square inch of a place. I will decorate it. I will put basements, sewers, attics, anything. Anywhere where there's usable space, I will uh, put something in it. So... All of my builds have interiors, or they will at least at some point. Um, no, most of them pretty much have it. Only the giant builds don't quite have all of it yet. Um, but, yeah, just letting you know, I love interiors. Also, apologize for the rain, but <laughs> we will go on. So, this is the new building here. This is, uh, so I don't know if you remember, a couple episodes back, we had worked on this. So, this is like the stables. So, um... The kind of the, the theory behind this is so the majority of the people that will come into this city will come in through the port right here in these um, these different ships. So they'll come off of here and be like, whoa, what are we doing in this new city? Well, we need to get a horse. So, <laughs> so they go and get a horse, but they'll need a place to stay for the first night as well. So they can go right across the street over here to this uh, this little motel, I guess <laughs> you would call it. I haven't named it. But uh, if you have any name suggestions, just let me know down in the comments. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, it's nothing too special. But once again, I have worked on the interior. But what I really think is nice on it is around back here. And I think this is what I put in the thumbnail. But it's the uh, just the little overlooking deck that's, uh, that's out here. Just uh, right on the, uh, the other portion, the lower portion of the docks. So I don't know. I think it's a really cool view from here. And, uh, yeah, they got their, their seats. <laughs> they got a few tables, but that just leads right into it. But we'll, we'll tour that here in a second. It's got a nice view, really nice view from over there. You can see the building very well, but I don't know. Uh, it just fits well into the space. And, and if you've watched these videos for long enough, you know that this is kind of the older part of the town. And so I'm refurbishing it. And so I'm going with a couple new things like widening these paths out, improving the buildings, and um, putting stuff where there's wasted space. This all was just grass before. And as you can see, it had enough room to fit a giant building in it. So, yeah. <laughs> but I did spend a lot of time widening these paths. And eventually, kind of the way that I want it to look is... Um, the newer part of the uh, the city where it's just this enclosed kind of close-knit city feel and then these branching paths will be more um, open space and more uh, landscape hev heavy I guess if that makes sense so we have these like little landscape paths out through here so that's what I want but like see like this area like I want something to take it up and this will eventually be gone and I'm going to put a big building there 
and uh, obviously this is a park so it'll stay but a lot of this green space I want taken up and I want there to be very little sight line throughout this part of the city all the way from the main road going from all the way around and uh, and then once you get outside you get to see other sites like the beautiful mountain range and different things like that that are up there and from here you just get little glimpses of it, glimpses of it and I think it just creates uh, points of interest if that uh, that makes any sense to you if you or if you've researched that a little bit um, that way you just can't see everything at once but you have to go to different places to get different vantage vantages and views also out here I added this little golden statue and I don't know I just think it's really cool it's it's super simple just gold and a couple of the yellow glass panes it uh, it really hurt me a lot to put this gold here because as you know I'm saving up all of my gold blocks to uh, do a pretty cool design in the uh, courthouse over there with gold. So it hurt me a lot to use these however many, like <laughs> six or seven blocks of gold. But I don't know. I think it looks really good from here. And you'll see this more than the cathedral and, or the, the uh, courthouse anyways. So yeah, let's go ahead and go on into this place. So right here we've just got a lobby. Pretty simple. Uh, just a few chairs to sit around. Uh, some decorations. And uh, this is just where they would uh, normally talk to you, <laughs> I guess, check you in. I really, I love and I hate these bush designs. Normally my my design for this is we have this spruce wood block. We have um, the uh, the plank right here. And uh, and then we'll have too high for grass, but or grass, for leaves. But sorry, this roof was just lower because this is like a split level sort of style building so more of a, like a floodplain type of blocks here because this is right along the river and can flood so majority of these uh, buildings right here that you'll see do have this block <laughs> the older buildings well you know it is what it is <laughs> maybe I'll I'll work on them eventually but at that time when I built those two um, I was not thinking about the river flooding so <laughs> but we've got a few rooms down here just uh, just two of them on this lower level um, we got this one right here just a pretty standard one uh, platform bed uh, painting got the uh, the closet and then a little a little seat nook right here good place to read a book I guess but uh, not a nice room with all this cobblestone around would definitely be pretty dirty and then a uh, pretty similar room over here a little bit nicer you've got a couch instead of just a chair uh, a little bit more space. So this one, this one's gonna cost you a little extra. <laughs> so let's go on up here. Uh, we got the second floor. Kind of a weird design. A lot of windows in this, but you know, I don't know. It looked cool from the outside, and I made it work on the inside. Um, we've got this nice little just a reading area here uh, <laughs> with an empty bookcase. <laughs> Everyone just loves reading so much here. They're all they took all the books and they're reading them in the room. <laughs> Uh, but just this little hallway here, and I'll show you the rooms. So this is a nicer room. Uh, <laughs> it says sleep tight. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. That's the only room with a sign, but I put that there because why not? Just thought it would be a good laugh. Sleep tight. <laughs> Both comforting and creepy, the, depending on the way you look at it. Uh, we've got a big kung fu painting here. Got the closet. Nice view from the couch out here. Um... A bookshelf that's empty as well uh, this is the smallest room but <laughs> definitely the cheapest room but you do have a good view I was like well they can't they've got a wonderful view of the sunset here but they can't have too much so they have a straw bed <laughs> and the smallest room uh, yeah I don't know why I did this but I thought it would be funny to have one of the beds straw for some reason and uh, then we have the last room. This is both the cheapest and the most expensive room. As you can see, that has the most room. Very nice bed, very nice view. So to get this bed, very expensive. Going to cost you a lot. Got this um, closet here, another nice view from your couch. But this, this room has another side to it. It also is the area for the overflow housing. <laughs> so, so this is the cheap spots. But they're simultaneously, this is simultaneously the cheapest room and the most expensive room. <laughs> so if you buy the most expensive room, you probably don't realize that you're going to have to sit here and stare at the 
the six the trip the two triple bunk beds fitting six people that are uh, that are all <laughs> right here <laughs> that you're going to be looking at then probably most likely they're just going to be random people i doubt you're going to have a family of seven where one sleeps here and then the other six are just sleeping up here but <laughs> I don't know. I find that absolutely hilarious. And I need to build a ladder here. Oh, I forgot about that. So without the ladder, they're just going to have to climb over each other, which honestly is kind of more funny anyways. But yeah, you, you get the point with it. The cheapest and the most expensive room. I don't know. I, I love the idea of that. <laughs> it's also one of my favorite things to do with interiors is is yes, a lot of them are realistic to an extent, but you also have to have a little bit of fun with it. Do some comedy. Um, what else did I do? There's a lot of just random little things I did. Um, I added a hedge here for this house. So this just kind of creates a little bit more street separation. Uh, so they just got a little more designation here for their yard. Uh, I think this is Respinald's house. Yeah, it's Respinald's. I sleep here often. Respinald's house, yeah. He needs to shut his door. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, here's another view now that it's stopped raining. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Sorry if it wasn't like amazing and beautiful video, like <laughs> my landscaping ones are, but sometimes you just gotta, you know, throw up a house or something and, uh, start to fill this city in. But I hope you guys enjoy these videos and I hope you enjoy seeing the city coming together. Um, I plan on working on this world forever, so... I'm not going anywhere, and uh, I hope you guys will stick along with me for the journey. So thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.